Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, we are gonna be making you guys some more money, gold, and XP, and we're gonna be doing that specifically by completing the daily challenges. Now today's daily challenges are a little bit strange, and you're gonna see what I mean here in just a moment, because obviously every time before I do this video, I take a look at what they're going to be, just so that I'm at least semi-prepared for it, and it's kind of a habit of mine. And honestly, I was kind of just, I did the, um, the gang hideout, if anybody saw my Mad Mazar video, which is in Blue Water Marsh, by the way, that's where she's at, located today. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to complete this. And then I was just started doing some of the daily challenges, not even thinking about recording them. So I haven't actually technically completed any. But uh, we're going to go over them right now. So if you guys want to, are enjoying these types of videos and want to see more of these types of videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified each and every single time that I do drop a video just like this one. And I do play a lot of other games here on the channel. we got Star Wars right now. I'm still working on the Outer Worlds, Call of Duty. we got Minecraft. we got a lot of other really cool things coming up including Minecraft Earth, which I don't know exactly how that's going to work out right now because it's going into winter. And where I live, winter can be harsh. So is, we'll just leave it at that. But we have to try to figure out where we can go and we can do a little bit of Minecrafting with Minecraft Earth. So definitely stay tuned for that. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the daily challenges for today so you guys can kind of see what they are. Um... I'm still kind of doing it the new way as of right now, and basically what I mean by that is I do mean that I don't know if I'm really going to complete these for you guys or not. We'll see. I might actually do that. A lot of people have been requesting that I go back to the old way, and I might do a variation of both. We'll just kind of have to see. Maybe we're doing a really short overview of what the daily challenges are for today and where you guys can go, and then having maybe another one like completing all of them so you guys can see them done i'm not really sure what to do right now um yeah a lot of people have been asking me about live streaming that's coming up i'm in the process of redeveloping some of the membership stuff right now um so definitely stay tuned for that we're gonna have amazing things that are gonna be ready for everybody once we go back um I'm hoping pretty pretty soon. I've been working on getting all the details and whatnot situated, and I just wanted to throw that out there. But we're going to be live streaming again very soon, at least I hope very soon. If not, it'll for sure be after the Christmas holiday season. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to. So anyway, let's break down these daily challenges for you guys today. Uh, we have one animal claw sold, which goes along with one bear killed. Once you kill a bear and skin a bear, you'll actually get the claw and you'll get the the pelt as well. But that will satisfy that. And that will allow you to be able to sell that claw. I don't think I actually have a claw on me. I don't believe I do. No, I don't. Okay. So we'll definitely have to get that at some point. Um, so let's go look at the other one. Uh, and then obviously a bear killed. Uh, for bears... There's a few different locations that you can actually do this at. Um, number one is there's sometimes a black bear that will actually be hanging around up in this area. Uh, otherwise, grizzly bears are a great option. And I actually that's probably what I'm going to end up doing is going up to tall trees. There's one that usually spawns like right here at this intersection. Or one here at this intersection. Or the one north of Strawberry, which is up by Wall Station. Pretty much right in this general area right here. Great options. And there's also another grizzly bear that is that does pop up here. And you can find a lot of black bears in that vicinity as well. Same with in, like, Big Valley along this upper road right here. Super fantastic. But anyway, uh, so that's kind of the, the bears, mostly grizzly bears. Black bears, just kind of pay attention to where they're at. Obviously, they'll show up right on the map, but they'll run away from you. So you just have to chase them down and kill them. Pretty easy. Um, Heron skin, there's, <laughs> that's what I started working on. Yep. So anyway, uh, and I was actually looking for a black bear too. And then I killed the, the hare and then I got it. And I'm like, oh, uh, I guess I need to start working on this. 
I didn't make a video on it yet. So Herons, obviously, really good location. Blue Water Marsh, which is pretty much where I'm at. Pretty much right where you see this animal hide is at. This carcass. That's where I killed in the nighttime even. But you can find them all over Blue Water Marsh. There's a ton of Herons that fly around here. And also, if you kind of go into the inner side of this bayou area, you're going to find a ton in this area. Uh, you can also find a ton of uh, great blue herons down here south of Brightwaite Manor. They'll be flying overhead. They don't really ever land as far as I ever can ever tell, but there's a lot of them down there, but you just have to skin two of them today. My personal recommendation, Blue Water Marsh. Probably the best one, to be honest. Um, let's take a look at what the next one is here on the list. We got to player headshots with the bow in free roam events, which we have a free roam event coming up in about 10 minutes or so from right now. So we'll probably participate in that. We'll try to get our headshot with a bow if we can. Um, I'm hoping that I can do it in that one time frame. We do have to revive three players. So the easiest way to do this is to get two other people in um, with you. One has to join your posse or you join their posse. And then you have a so-called quote-unquote enemy that will de destroy them and kill them. And then you just, they shoot them with a varmint rifle, not, not not a headshot, but just body shots. They'll get knocked over, like you, when you see the knockdown when you kill somebody. That will happen. And then you just go and revive them. And then the other person shoots you, and then they revive you, and then you just take turns until you each get three. And then you close out your posse, and you join your friend's posse that was killing everybody, and then you just kind of rotate, and then you let them get the revives. That's, that's... The easiest way to do it. Now, if you're really good at some of the showdowns and people actually let you revive them in showdowns, that is another way to do it. But honestly, the first way that I mentioned is super easy. Uh, like I said, it, but it just requires two other people to do it. So that's definitely not going to be done on this video right here because definitely not going to happen. Just not, It's just not going to. Rescue someone in need. There's a lot of locations that you guys can actually rescue someone in need. Um, there's actually one right here like in this general area that will happen there's one that will happen right here as well um this that look this blue water marsh is a really good location another really good location for helping people in need sometimes they're just random events i got really lucky and i was coming out of roads one time just started a daily challenge video and something happened and i rescued somebody i mean it couldn't have been any easier than that but just south of armadillo here pretty much right here on this road and this down this road here, there's two different spots along this road that can that can spawn in, like rescuing somebody in need. Now sometimes it will be an ambush, just be aware of that. But for the most part, it is a rescue somebody in need. Now if they're not here and they're not here, you just basically ride from Armadillo right around here and then ride back and then ride all the way down to Mercer Station and then just keep going like that until you kind of. You know, until you get one. Otherwise, kind of the same thing up here in Blue Water Marsh. You're doing basically the same thing. You're riding from here, you know, down to, let's see, it happens there, and then to there, and you're riding to basically a log ross, and then back, and then back, and then back and forth, and then you can do the same thing. Um, I do feel like the one down in Armadillo is a little bit quicker just because they're closer together, and you don't have to ride as far, but sometimes the distance can help. The other one spawn here in Blue Water Marsh area, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, and then we just have to use an emote on a player in free roam. So we need to find three players and give them an emote. That should be pretty easy. Just give them a thumbs up. You can flick them off. You can do whatever you want. As long as it's an emote and you're not shooting them. Thumbs up. Wave. Spit in their face. Gag a little bit. Whatever you want to do, just give them an emote and you're going to be just fine. All right, so that does conclude all the, the general challenges for today. We got the roll challenges, which include three goods sold to a local buyer. We had this one yesterday, and I always say this every time that we have to do either a, a local or a distant one. Try to get your camp up to 100 goods first and then sell all three of them as quickly as possible. If it's a distant, then sell two of them as quickly as possible. We do have to complete two, uh, three resupply missions today, which I think my camp is in need of right now anyway. Uh, ten small carcasses donated to Crips. So that's going to be anything that goes inside the satchel. It can be the bats that you can hear flying around right now. I don't know if you can actually hear them or not. 
rats. There's a really good place in an Elysian pool behind the waterfall area where you can find bats and rats, and you're guaranteed to almost every time find more than 10. If they're not there, then basically come out, ride, ride all the way to Butcher's Creek, and then go back to Elysian pool, and they should spawn. That's all you gotta do. Super simple. Uh, this one happened to me, and this one happened to me while I was doing the gang hideout. I actually found an antique alcohol bottle on a non-player enemy. So I have to find three non-alcoholic, or non-alcoholic beverages. I have to find three alcoholic beverages. So I need to get drunk today. Come on, guys. We need to find three bottles, and we don't need to drink them, but we need to collect them. And we have to find three things off of non-player enemies, which... Sometimes can be tough. Like I said before, I've had people tell me that, hey, I've been able to do this in like 20 people. And I've had it personally where I feel like I loot like 500 people to finally get the collectibles. It's it's kind of just the luck of the draw. and There's really nothing you can do about it. But in order to find the antique alcohol bottles and then the tarot cards that are available on my daily rule challenges, use my collector tool that I put out there each and every day letting you guys know what cycle it is and then also where to find all the collector sets so you guys know exactly where to find all the tarot cards and I always start down in New Austin and work work my way up and then I kind of spread out kind of depending on where the next closest one is at sometimes they go into our you know Amberino or yeah Amberino or sometimes I actually go into like New Hanover and then like Lemoyne it just really just kind of depends but I always start down in in New Austin so you guys know Another really good way to get the collectibles is doing like Van Horn or Thieves Landing or just looking for a whole bunch of gang hideouts which do spawn a lot less than going to Thieves Landing or Van Horn. But sometimes you have more luck doing them at a gang hideout. The other thing that you can do is bounties. Um, if you get a lot of people to have potential at killing, make sure you loot everybody during that bounty except for, well, including the main person. Just not, don't kill your bounty because you make more money in gold and XP from doing that. But then you can loot everybody and potentially get, you know, three non -collect or three collectibles looted from non-player enemies. Then we have to have two uh, two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. So we got, you know, Rhodes and Saint Denis. That's kind of that area. Um, five total bounty targets brought in. So two bounty posters. So if they're if they're only individuals, then you're gonna have to do three more times for that to get that completed. And then you have to have three more than one bounty target brought in at once so this this would actually get satisfied just by doing this because if you have to do it three times that means you're gonna be bringing in six total people see if you can find a multiple player in Lemoyne and you can actually get all of them done basically together just do two multiple targets and obviously you have to do three but more than likely you're gonna get all these taken care of within that same time frame so wherever you're Bounties are actually located and where you have to bring them in from. That's where I'd be focusing on if you have these other daily world challenges. But anyway, that is all the time that I have for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it or found it helpful in any way. If you guys did, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.